This is where our trail goes. Now this is where this tree goes. So we're gonna, we brought the chainsaw and we're gonna trim it and uh, move it out of the way. So the work starts right off the bat. All right, so we're at camp. Had a nice little break there. Yeah. It was warm. Yeah, it was a rough way. It was a rough walk in. <laughs> yeah. Well, bringing down that giant tree. So, plan for this time is we're gonna cut a new trail to go to the uh, new build that uh, we started working on. If you guys saw the last video, Sanders here with me on this one. Yep. So we're gonna be moving a lot of brush. Mm. Not a lot of talking for a while. We got a lot of work to do. First, <laughs> we gotta map our our trail. Yep. And then uh, start cutting. Yeah, got some flagging tape, so we'll try to temporarily mark a trail first and make sure we get it right because we don't want to cut twice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. So you were thinking when we're going to get five, six feet of snow here. Well, Al, I'm thinking Simon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> six or seven feet of Simon. Yeah, Simon. Good job, Sarah. It's looking nice. Good job. Hot. Hot, yeah, I know. Hot. Time for another break, folks. Uh, Back in 10, 15 minutes. Soap gloves. Yeah, soap me. <laughs>
think this is wide enough, we'll be able to meet two sleds. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, wrong. <laughs> Pretty much there. Yeah. Okay, here you go. Jacks do this for 40 hours a week. I'm just cutting branches. They've trained all their lives. Yeah. I'm just cutting branches, seriously. <laughs> Some hangers there you can probably take care of, but there. oh, here goes the chain. Time for me to do branches. There goes the chain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Should be wearing bush wear. You're supposed to be outdoorsy, Sandra. Stuff I happens. I'm outdoorsy, I just don't have the right clothes. <laughs> <laughs> you have the right clothes. <laughs> it's 
Still warm, folks. Still warm. Yeah, it has clouded over. That's helped. Good job, Sandra. So uh, we're clearing the trail today to the uh, rock hut. Uh, we've gone quite a ways away, but I can see we're almost there. I can see the rock pile is just up ahead there, and the shelter is just on the other side of that. Uh, we cut a bunch of branches, cleared up a bunch of stuff like this, which we need to go through this. It's going to be a big job next. Um, the trail is very wide, so hopefully if stuff comes down in it, we'll have enough room to be able to clear it off. And I think it's so wide that we can probably meet like five sleds going up <laughs> and down the hill. <laughs> so I wish that the, the, the track that we have coming in here was that, that wide. Like we really should take time and work on that at some point. Um, it'd be much easier for coming in with the bikes, that's for sure. <laughs> I could have taken that one. I got a gift for you. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I can do that one. I don't know about the other one. <laughs> Oh, can't forget the glasses. It's not to look cool. No, I was gonna say, look at you all cool. With the yeah. chainsaw. <laughs> a, a battery chainsaw. <laughs> yeah, it's so cool. <laughs> the envy of all lumberjacks. <laughs> First aid kit? No, it should be okay. <laughs> I just need time. Time? Okay. Alright everyone, we've got the trail done. We still have some sticks to pick up, but uh, both Sandra and I are pretty much exhausted at this point. We didn't go far, but we went fairly wide and we went pretty much in detail. So we uh, we did a lot of work. We've been here since around 11.30. It's around six o'clock now. A couple of breaks here and there, but for the most part, we uh, put a lot of hours in. So we were gonna camp up here, but uh, like I said, it's already six and uh, we, haven't, we don't have a fire pit up here. So we're just gonna go back to camp and uh, cook up our supper. Yep. You okay with that? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a lot of good work? Yeah, we did. Yeah. yeah, I like it. It was fun. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we'll show you guys a full uh, kind of view of the whole walkway. Like I say, it's not far, but uh, it's a pretty nice trail.
we're lucky to have running water. close. That was really close. I guess that's why I was putting it the other way. All right, so uh, after a hard day's work, Sandra cooked us up a really nice meal. We've got some barbecued chicken strips and some charbroiled veggies that were marinated in balsamic vinegar and anything else? Uh, just salt and pepper and olive oil. Nice. There you are. She flies away. <laughs> no, I have a fork if you want. But... That's okay. This looks amazing. The peppers are hot. Ooh, that barbecue sauce has some kick. Holy. It's the same stuff we have at home. Really? Yeah. Wow. We've had it before. Yeah, I know, but oh. Yeah, so it's stuck to it. Okay, so barbecue chick chicken strips with uh, roasted veggies. Balsamic roasted veggies. Not sure if it's gonna work, but... It works. It works? Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm. Yeah, I'd say it works pretty good. Mm. <laughs> Those peppers are really sweet. Mm -hmm. mm. Awesome. We haven't eaten since this morning. Mm. We're slow workers. Well, I'm a slow worker. Well, I'm a perfectionist, so that's why <laughs> I'm a slow worker. I don't know why you're a slow worker. I'm lazy. No. Oh. <laughs> it's supposed to start raining soon. Yeah, it's misty, but... Hopefully it holds off for another mm. half hour at least. <laughs> yeah, we'd like to sit by the fire for a little bit. Well, I'd like to finish eating. Toad wants to go in our fire pit, 
So I nominated Mike to pick them up and put them at a safer place, maybe towards the woods. Is this your first time? No. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, they, we've seen them. Right. Oh, figured we'd have a little fireside chit chat. <laughs> what a day! Yeah. I'm. Uh, I'm kind of worn out. Yeah. How about you? Yeah. No. I'm well. Yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I didn't have that heavy chainsaw. Well, I was just hauling stuff. I mean, but just a battery-operated one, but it's heavier than it than you would think. But uh, full day, we got the trail cleared out really nice. It's looking fantastic. Yep, nice and wide. Yeah, and uh, that's going to be great for uh, when uh, we continue to build and start camping over there. It's going to be really sweet. Mm -hmm. So uh, had a fantastic supper. Yeah, yeah, it was good. Didn't seem like much, but. I had two wraps and I'm stuffed. Yeah, we we're pretty full. I had backup chips and I'm not even hungry for them. So, <laughs> considering we haven't eaten since like 11 in the morning, yeah. that's that's uh, pretty remarkable. But uh, no, great old supper. We got the fire burning there. Uh, we we both put a sweater on. It's it's gotten a little bit chilly. We had a, a rain squall go yeah, by. It's still raining a little bit. A little bit, yeah. So we might have to shut the camera off abruptly. But uh, just wanted to thank you guys for for uh, watching this video. Um, it's been a while since we had a proper chit chat around the fire. Mm. Hopefully this rain kind of holds off, but uh, <laughs> no, really, really big thanks. Uh, I know that our, our winter and bushcraft videos are, are much more uh, popular, uh, but uh, to those of you guys who stuck with us through our summer videos, thank you so much. It's really appreciated. We had a lot of fun. Oh yeah. Had some yep. fun trips. Yeah. Went out with the, with the bikes a couple of times, did some camping there, Sandra did a uh, kayak trip with Jean. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, yep. <laughs> she had a lot of fun. She's hoping to do another one, but we'll see uh, yep. what happens. Uh, I had uh, just bought a new kayak too and did a solo trip, so Santa and I are hoping to get a trip before the whole summer wraps up. Mm -hmm. But uh, thank you so much, everyone, for uh, you know sticking with us and watching our videos. Uh, we're just about to go over 65,000 <laughs> subscribers. Unbelievable! Can't thank you guys enough. It's fantastic. So, like I said, hope you guys enjoy this video. We have a lot coming up. There's a lot to come with this build. And we're going to be throwing a whole bunch of winter camping videos. Yep. It's coming soon, folks. It's already September. So, really hope you guys stick around with us. And, uh, you know, throw in your comments out there. We absolutely love chit-chatting with you guys. It's it's so much fun. Like I have mentioned many times, it just... It, I read every one of them. And uh, it's so much fun to, uh, to kind of relive the, the trips with you guys and to... Uh, to uh, joke around with you guys because there's a lot of great comments <laughs> yeah. out there. So awesome. So thank you so much, folks. We'll see. Uh, it's probably going to wrap it up for tonight, but we have uh, quite a bit more coming tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. We got some. Uh, we got a lot of work to do around here. I yeah. don't know how long we'll be here for, but yeah, it, it, try to we, get some of it done. We might not get it all done tomorrow because yeah, we still have to get home, mm. but uh, there's still some more to come. Hope you guys join us and uh, see you in the morning. Yep, we're just sitting here by the fire, burning pieces of our wall that fell over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. I forgot yeah. to mention that. Some of the support poles are going in, but they're going to be yeah. replaced by new ones. Yeah. So. There's another one here if you want to put it in later. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do nice and dry. Yeah. Hopefully that's all that we're burning from this shelter. <laughs>
You're up. I'm up. I'm missing something. <laughs> it's right there. How'd that go? Oh, it works great. Hope it tastes good for you. I'm sure it will. <laughs> yep. Perfect. <clears throat> so I think I mentioned this in the last video. This uh, coffee press here, it's called the Aero Press. Uh, I'm probably going to do a, a detailed video just specifically on this thing because it's, it's perfect for, for the wilderness. Um, I've used French press, like steep coffee, uh, I've done percolation. This is the best method I've found to, to make coffee out in the woods. And I love it so much, I use it at home too. Um, there's so many things about it that I love. Um, one, most importantly, it makes a really, really good coffee. Um, but it also packs small, it's really light. Um, and the second biggest feature, which is really huge to me, is that it cleans up so easy. Uh, with the French press or percolation, you always have to deal with the dirty pot and you don't want it to leak into your gear so it takes a lot of time to, to kind of manage um, it might sound nitpicky but when you're tired <laughs> and you need to get moving quick uh, having something like this it's phenomenal I just absolutely love this thing uh, so I'll do a little bit more of a detailed video at some point because there are some differences to um, other methods I've used uh, the biggest difference uh, in terms of how you prepare your coffee is that this ju does a concentrated shot think kind of espresso so if you don't like a really strong coffee you then dilute it with water the end product makes a really smooth and good coffee uh, it takes a while to to learn how to dial it down for your dose size and all that and how much water to put in but like I said, I'll touch on that in a future video but I love this thing yeah, you're still in. You're still in training, but you. I think you've got my taste. Now, <laughs> yeah, Pat. is it good? You can keep doing them for me. <laughs> <laughs> still make mistakes, but we'll cover that. Uh, like I said in a later video, but yeah, AeroPress, really, really neat. So one of the last trees that uh, we went around, I cut them into uh, well, around one foot length. So we got a nice little stack there for the next time we come here, we could either camp here or uh, have a nice little cook fire, but it would be nice to have that ready for us when the next time we come here. Hopefully it doesn't get too wet. <laughs> so apologies folks, uh, sounds like uh, somebody's using some heavy machinery out in the woods somewhere on somebody else's woodlot. So uh, we've decided uh, that's probably going to go on for a few hours, so we're just going to finish cleaning up the last spot that we cut here yesterday, and then we're going to pack up and go. So, uh, apologies, we kind of wanted to do a few extra things, but uh, I'm still kind of tired. We slept great, had a great night's sleep in the tent, but uh, I think we're just going to finish up here and move along. What do you think, Sandra? Yeah, sounds good. Yeah? You missed some. I missed some, yeah, I did. Go get the chainsaw. <laughs> Anything you want to say to the folks out there? Uh, yeah, no, it was a very productive day yesterday. Mm -hmm. Did a lot, cut that trail in, and pretty much the same as what I said yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Coffee was good. You're yeah. getting there. Yeah, yeah. getting there. <laughs> I thought it was good at <laughs> making coffee. <laughs> you are. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the tent worked out good. It, it rained a bit, but we stayed nice and dry. We went to bed really early. We yeah. Were pretty tired. It started to rain, so. Yeah. So anyway, that's going to be it for this one, but still a lot more to come. Uh, that camera where you guys are in, <laughs> you're in the middle of the ring of our shelter we're going to be building throughout the fall. So a lot more to come. Hope you guys have enjoyed, and we hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.